Angry Guy here, and today I'm discussing expat life in the Philippines with MK Fitness. Over to you, MK. What's up, guys? MK Fitness in the Philippines coming at you from the Philippines, Angeles City, Clark City, Balibango, Bambanga, and all the surrounding area. I'm ripping the whole neighborhood. How's it going, Angry Guy? Going good. So you're over in the Philippines now. You've been over there for three months, and you actually were able to get into a relationship. You had someone waiting for you before you even got there. I mean, you're from the U.S., right? Yes. Okay. And, uh, I mean, let's just jump into it. So you have a lady. Uh, is she fit, feminine, friendly? She is all of the above. She is an amazing Filipino woman. Everything you've heard about the Philippine women is true. They uh, they love you. They take care of you. They respect you. They submit to you. They are just amazing women. Okay. And uh, what kind of, I mean, let's talk about the cost of living over in the Philippines. When I was living in Mexico, I was able to rent an entire house, two-bedroom house, for about $150 a month. It was pretty darn cheap. Uh, I mean, what kind of living expenses are you looking at? Well, I have a two bedroom apartment for 120 a month, but I always tell people if you can afford to live in the States, no matter what budget you have, you can afford to live in the Philippines. You can find something here that's going to accommodate your budget. So you got over to the Philippines and you know a lot of guys they hear that the women over there are, are friendly they're fit they're kind they're open and they're, they they want you to actually speak to them and in western society we've already been conditioned that if a woman's on the street don't approach her don't upset her because you know she, because that's just how it is right now after the m2 movement this is how things operate here but in the philippines you can women actually want you to approach them and there are no social repercussions for doing so right Yes, that is true. They do. Either they will approach you or some of them are really shy. So you do have to approach them. But yes, they are happy to for you to have a conversation with them as a foreigner. When you first got over to the Philippines, did you feel a little bit apprehensive, you know, talking to women based on your experiences in the U.S.? Um, no, I got to talk to I mean, they're very friendly. The Filipino people, men and women, are extremely friendly. So you can just talk to anybody on the street, any stranger you meet. You can just start a conversation with them and make a new friend. Okay. Okay, but you would not do that in the U.S., of course. No, no. I mean, I wouldn't want to. So <laughs> So what made you so comfortable and so uh, willing to just jump right in and, and feel that? I mean, was it just such a different feeling in energy? Because, I mean, when you got off the plane, what? Yeah, I think it's, as soon as you get off the plane, you feel the atmosphere is different here. Like you get that sense of freedom and it's just the way the women, like even women who don't know you, like say you're going to the mall or something. And it's like just some woman that works at the mall. They're very respectful to you. They, they really respect men here. Even if it's not your girlfriend, even if she's a stranger, they still show you respect. That's that's really insane. So. You know, you have your Filipina, she's fit, she's feminine, she's friendly. But if you decided to break up with her today, I mean, at this exact moment, how long would it take you to replace her? Oh, I could just walk down the street and have, find a replacement. Like, I could replace her on the, by the time I get to the gym. What? Because, I mean, girls will look at you. When you're walking down the street, they will look at You'll notice them looking at you. And, you know, even if it's like a group of girls and you walk past them, they'll be giggling as soon as you walk past them. And you know they're talking about you, so. Giggling? That sounds like the 90s. That doesn't sound like 2023. Sounds like the 90s in the U.S. So it's like an entire different world over there right now. It's like going back in time. Yes, yes, it is. I mean, it is a lot like going back in time because the women, they genuinely want to have like, uh, they want to have a boyfriend, you know, they, they, they like having a boyfriend. Oh. Tell me about how the Filipinas interact with men in terms of like their 
their energy? Do they come across as warm? Because I mean that they, they say there's this notion that Filipinos want to take care of you. They're very friendly. They're very agreeable. Let's talk about that. Yes, they are almost to the point that sometimes it can even be a little bit annoying. Like they submit to everything, uh, whatever I want. You know, most time I don't even have to ask. Like she already knows what I need before I know I need it. So they're very intuitive. They they learn you. They learn what your routine, you know, things that you like, the kind of food you like, and then they will just they will they'll make that food for you. They'll they'll they adapt to you. So she knows my schedule. Like if I'm going to go to the gym at eight o'clock in the morning, you know, she'll have like my water ready for me, my gym bag ready. You know, everything will be ready for me to go. All right. So you're Filipina. She cooks and she cleans for you, right? Yes. And she works too, by the way. She just started her job. Oh, wow. And she still does her wifely duties. And by that, I mean, baby making time. <laughs> well, you haven't married her yet, right? No. Okay. Now, hmm. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this, however. So, for example, you said that she's, she does work, but what are the roles within the relationship? What are her expectations from you? I mean, how much does it, how much does she, how much does it actually cost you? In America, if you're in a relationship with a Western woman, they'll tell you anything less than $100,000 is not going to get you access. And a lot of women want more than that. What, I mean, what are the expectations from a Filipina? Uh... I pay the bills, but she's working now because she doesn't, you know, she doesn't want all the responsibility, you know, of the bills, which I don't mind. I got, I just let her go to work because she wants to go to work, but she wants to help out with the bills too. Other than paying the bills, I mean, I really don't spend that much money. I spend like twenty dollars a day or something, ten dollars a day sometimes. Like as far financial expectations is just just pay the bills and that's it. So we were talking earlier. You said that your your rent is currently your rent is about one hundred and twenty dollars a month. That gets you a two bedroom apartment. Your internet costs is about forty dollars. Your electricity is about twenty dollars. You're looking at right around two hundred dollars a month in overall bills. Yes. Living cost? Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a light okay. bill for somebody in the states. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, and. Uh, What's, I mean, how, what about food? Like, how much do you spend on food within a month usually? Well, I have to clarify that. That one's kind of like, I, because I'm not single, so I'm, and my, uh, my, my girlfriend's parents live with us as well. Uh, so food for me is a little bit more expensive than it would be for like a single guy. Or if you have a Filipina and your, your, her parents are not living with you, your food expense would be cheaper. So, if you're single, you you can eat for like a dollar at two dollars a day, you know. So for me, my food expenses is maybe like uh forty dollars, maybe per about eighty dollars a month, I think. What? Probably like a hundred. We could just round it up to a hundred. I really wait, 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 wait. Let's take a step back. A hundred dollars a month for total food expenses. For you, your Filipina, and her parents. Yeah, I, I mean, I really don't even keep track of it because we go to the there's like little uh, markets that you so there's like grocery stores here, but they're like westernized. Obviously, the food there is more expensive. But if you have a Filipina girlfriend, she can take you to like a a market, like a farmer's market, and you can get food for like so cheap, like really, really dirt cheap. Like, right? so you actually, I'm actually saving a lot of money because I have her to help me, you know, go to these places. And, and purchase the food for me because if I purchase it, they'll charge me more just because like they know I'm a foreigner. But it still won't be that much more. But but you can save a lot of money by going to the farmers market. How's English over in the country? I mean, the Philippines is one of the largest English speaking countries in the world. I mean, have you you know with with people that you run into on a regular basis? Does pretty much everyone speak English? Yes, everyone speaks English. The only ones who don't speak, like just my my girlfriend's parents don't speak English. So maybe if they're older, but if you know, pretty much everyone speaks English fluently. 
Okay. Fluent. So basically, if you're dealing with anyone pretty much under 40, they're going to speak English. Yeah. And I mean, the younger they are, the better their English is. And with my girlfriend, like, a lot of the, the jobs here are, are in call centers. So they have to learn English very well to deal with the customers. And like, I've never had to like dumb my language down for her to understand me. Like she's, I just talk the way I talk and she understands everything. And we have very deep conversations too. So about wow. everything. So another thing I want to talk about is the hygiene of the Filipinas. So Filipinas have legendary hygiene. I, yeah. I mean, like basically it's said that if they can bathe three times, three times a day, they'll bathe three times a day, you know, and even, even toilet paper is not good enough for a Filipina, you know, they have to be squeaky clean. So let me, t t let, let's, 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 let's get into the nitty gritty. You know, is it true? <laughs> is it, is it that, true about their, about that, about their hygiene? That is one thing I noticed when I first got here and uh, met my girlfriend that, yeah, the hygiene is 100. They're always, always um, not taking a full bath, but, you know, making sure the the baby making parts are clean, you know. So, yeah, the wow. hygiene is pretty, pretty high over here. Wow, 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 wow. I think her hygiene is better than mine's. She's like, I'm going to go take a bath. I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and since you've been in the Philippines, I mean, you've been spending spending time with your lady, but do you guys go out to, other than shopping? Do you go, you know, where do you go for fun? What do you guys do together? Uh, well, the malls are kind of a big thing around here. Like the malls are really nice. Everyone kind of goes and hangs out at the malls. So we go to the mall. Uh, we just go walk, go walk around a lot. And, um, I like to walk around just for exercise because my channel is a fitness channel as well. Um, what else do we do? We do go shopping. Uh, we go, so we, we even go out and eat. Like she cooks all the time, but sometimes I still want to go like eat a hamburger or something. So we eat out. Um, we do everything you would do in the States. There's a movie theater here in the, in the mall. Are the movies in English? Yeah. They're all English, Western movies. What? Like all the all the newest movies, whatever's coming out over there, it's coming out over here. So, wow. It, so let's talk a little bit about the food. All right. First, let's talk about your Philippine. Oh, now you went out. Keep it yeah. rolling. We're live. Okay, you're back. Yeah. So. So you're Filipina. Let's talk about her food. You know her her cooking, and then the, and then the general food in the country. How is your Filipinas cooking? I I mean, go ahead. Well, they're they're the, the food is amazing. Like I can't even just I don't have the words to describe how delicious the food is. It's actually hard to like not gain weight here because especially for me since I'm in fitness and trying to stay in shape because the food is so good. And like I was saying before, the, your Filipino will learn you. She'll learn what you like, and then she'll incorporate that into the food that she makes to please you, to make sure you're happy. Wow, 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 wow. Like, even last night, she made some food, and I, like, I didn't say I didn't like it, but she was like, I don't think you like the food. So I bought something different for today. And I was like, it's not a big deal. I was like, yeah, it wasn't my favorite thing, but... They really go out of their way to make sure you're happy, like really happy, especially with the food. Okay, so, so you you're currently living with your you're currently living with your Filipina, your you're living with your Filipina, your Filipina, your and her and her parents, and you said that you're spending around you spend about a hundred dollars a month to cover food costs for for everyone, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What are the, I mean, what does it, what, in America, they expect a lot. Women expect a lot from men. I, I mean, how much do you think you actually spend on your Filipina in a month? Uh, honestly, I don't really, I, I, I tried to buy her a purse. She wouldn't even let me buy her a purse. Uh, 
I don't really spend any money. Oh, actually, I just bought a phone for her, but that's like the first most expensive thing that I've bought for her since I've been here. And like, they don't really ask for anything. And they're very, they're just grateful just to have, like, if you're just paying the bills, they're, they're grateful just for that. What? Yeah. Holy. I, I try to spend money on her and they, and she won't let me. So. That's, 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 that's amazing. That is absolutely. Amazing. We just bought the, actually we bought the phone because we wanted a better camera for my vlogging. So it's for her, but it's really for me. <laughs> so <laughs> even the phone is for, it's for me, but, so, but I have like three phones. So I don't need three phones all the time do you have any tips for guys how to avoid getting scammed in the philippines by a filipina because while you know while it you know there most filipinas seem to be really lovely people there are definitely people out there who would take advantage of you what tips do you have regarding that yeah there's a there's a few scammers but in my experience most of the guys that are getting scammed are just stupid and they're putting themselves in situations that they wouldn't even put themselves in in the West. So a lot of guys, they want to come out here and hang out with the bar girls. If you're hanging out in the bar with bar girls, you're, you're probably going to get scammed. You know, you're <laughs> just increased, you're increasing your chances of getting scammed. And so I would say just if you want to hang out and party, just be careful with that. Um, the other thing is that if a Filipino is most of some of them are they're, they're shy. So if she's being aggressive, that's usually a red flag. That she's been around you know she you're not the first guy she's approached that night and uh so if she's being too aggressive that's a red flag if it's a bar girl be careful and if she's just asking for money filipinas do not ask for money they are so shy and like they're so embarrassed about asking for money that even if they need it they will not ask you for money so if she's asking it might, it's probably scam because most of them won't ask. So what if a I'm sorry, repeat that. I lost you again. Yeah. Okay. You're back. okay what if you're back. she says what if she says, Hey, can you put some money on my phone for me? If my girlfriend says that? If or a Filipino says that. I don't know. It depends. Like if you're in a long distance relationship, I don't know. Um, let's say you just, let's say you went to the Philippines and you meet uh, a Philippine and you meet a, uh, you meet a Filipina and cause this is something that they do in other, they do in various countries. This is a tactic that they use in places yeah, like yeah. Thailand. So let's say she's asked you if, Hey, could you put some money on my phone for me? And you know, you know, for, a, you know, when I lived in Mexico, you know, you could $10 a month and that's, that's a phone bill right there. And then, yeah. I mean, hundred pesos a month. That's, 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 that's five, which is $5. That's a phone bill right there. So what, you know, if a Filipina asks you to put some money on her phone for, for, for her, and it's like, just like a small amount of money, how would you respond to that? Somebody that you just met? I mean, if you just met her, I don't think I would do it uh, because they a, a good Filipina is not going to ask you for anything, especially if you guys just met. So that's probably another red flag. OK, so asking you for money is a big red flag. Just going to the bar, going, you know, meeting a girl at the bar, that's a red flag in and of itself. A woman who is pushy and aggressive, that's a red flag. Are there any other things you think that guys should look out for? Um, uh, she might have a Filipino boyfriend. <laughs> so if she's Ooh, a bar girl. That's a big one, bro. Yeah, so be careful because she might have another guy or she might have another foreigner guy as well. So if she's a bar girl, this is what they do for a living. Okay. Like this is their, their job. So they have maybe another foreigner who's back in the States that they're talking to on Facebook and they're getting money from him. So just, you know, I'm not saying snoop around or check her phone, but if you see her like on the phone talking to somebody, you know, just be careful with that too. Cause there are some Filipinos here that have multiple long distance relationships mm -hmm. with foreigners. So you're, you might not be the only one. Mm. In, but, go ahead. 
but you'll know if she's a good girl. I mean, she'll give you full access to her phone. She'll leave her phone out and, you know, she'll give you the code if you want to snoop. I don't go through my girlfriend's phone because, frankly, I don't care. But uh, if she's a good girl, you'll have full access to her phone. Hmm. You won't even have to ask. You won't even have to ask. She just gave me the code to the phone. Okay. Tell me, I want to ask about this. So there was a story that happened. There was something that actually happened a while ago. Uh, there was a, well, it wasn't actually a while ago. It was just like recently. But a guy, a passport Joe, he married a, he married a Filipina. And uh, she, she basically started pu putting. He went out again. Yeah. Yeah. So she, you know, she tried, you know, she put bleach in his coffee and she tried to delete him. And uh, now she's, you know, she's been taken into custody in the United States and she's being held. And, you know, there are some people who are justifying what she's done and, and saying that, well, he had to have done something to her because a Filipino would not do something like that. Although I think that's I, I completely disagree with that because people are people. Do you think that, you know, men are at risk when they go to the Philippines because there is a lot more there's a lot of poverty in the Philippines and that there are Filipinas that might try, might have uh, ulterior motives and they might try to delete them well like i said the men who are getting in trouble are putting themselves in bad places and bad situations so it's most of the time their own stupidity and i'm sure like with this this situation there was probably some red flags way before you know, that happened that this guy was probably ignoring with this particular Filipina. One of the things that she actually did was she purchased a house in the Philippines for $200,000 prior to, you know, uh, and prior to prior to this happening, a house for $200,000. What uh, will $200,000 get you in the Philippines? Uh, you're, you're like a bajillionaire here. I mean, you're yeah, you're you're rich. I mean, you could live. I don't know. You could retire probably with two hundred thousand dollars in the Philippines. Yeah, and and like I said, I mean, she that wasn't how much money she had in had access to because you know she was uh, going after his insurance. He had obviously he had a he had an insurance plan, a life insurance plan. They said. But she actually purchased a house for just two hundred thousand. So you—that's a mansion over in the Philippines, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's probably that's going to be huge, like more than a mansion, it's like a whole apartment complex, even bigger, maybe. Holy cow! Holy cow! So yeah, that, there's just some red flags there. This guy has a lot of money, and she's having access to all his money. So, like he, it just—it already sounds like he's being stupid with his money by allowing her to have that much access to it. Yeah, no, you, you picked up on, you picked up on that. And I didn't even think about that factor because for her to spend $200,000, what American do you know has that kind of money to spend? And it's, she probably did not come to the U S and suddenly make that kind of money. So, that's another, red, that's actually another red flag. So if she's asking you how much money you make or, like, you know, like a like a Western woman would do, like, oh, what's your job? How much money do you make? That's a red because a, a Filipino woman, my girlfriend doesn't know how much money I have. Like she's never she's never asked. Like I just tell her we have enough. So have you learned any tal uh, Tagalog? <laughs> I have not. Um so I've I've been lazy about that. Because my girlfriend is so fluent in English, it's like I just don't have to. Now, something interesting. Something interesting about the Philippines. So, if you get into a relationship with a woman in the Philippines and she has a child, with something that I've come to learn, you cannot be in public with. You cannot be alone with that child. Is that correct? No, I haven't heard that. I've, my girlfriend has a child, and we go walk around outside. You walk around uh, with with just a child. Yeah, we go to the store, get some snacks. Awesome. <laughs> I think you, I think you need to look into that. It's actually illegal in the Philippines for a person who's not related to a child to be with that child. You should ask your Filipino oh, about. That. Well, there's a lot of laws in the Philippines that are not enforced. So. Okay. Okay. So you've never been, because you've never been worried. You're a white guy, right? Yeah. 
Okay. So obviously they know the kid's not yours and you've never felt worried. You've never felt worried that, you know, you get in trouble being alone with that kid, right? Nah, but there's kids everywhere. Like there's kids all running down the street all the time. So I got gotcha. you. That's just one of those laws that's on the, there's no police here. Like there's, there's not like a, I don't know. There's no police. What really? Yeah. So the stores will have like security guards, but I don't, I even asked my girlfriend, I was like, what, what do you do if something happens? Like, how do you call the police? Like there's no nine one one, you know, you don't, I think you actually actually have to call the police station to send someone if you have an emergency or something, but there's no police. It's all like you're as far as the law goes kind of on your own out here. Okay. It's self, it's self governed. How much money do you think a person should bring with them? You know, the bare minimum when moving to the Philippines, the bare minimum, I would say probably like $10,000. Okay. Just to get started. Okay. 10 grand and uh, and once you're actually i mean how how much did it actually cost you to fly over there i don't know how much it costs now because i know that the prices are going way up but for me my ticket was 900 dollars. that was a round trip ticket so i still have my return ticket <laughs> uh, but you i think i think flights are between like twelve and fifteen hundred on average. Like uh, fifteen, fifteen hundred. Yeah, I think they're they're usually about twelve hundred or fifteen hundred on average. I just got a cheap flight because I picked a day, like a time of year when it was just cheaper. And is that one way or is that for round trip? No, my mine's was round trip, nine hundred dollars round trip. Holy cow! How how many hours was the flight? It's uh, 15 hours, and then I had a three-hour layover in Taiwan, and then like another hour and a half from Taiwan to the Philippines. So it was about 20 hours. Oh, Taiwan. Okay, so you had a layover in Taiwan, and then how long were you in Taiwan? For like three hours. Three hours. So it was. you said it was around 20 hours? Yeah, the whole trip. Okay, so how long? All right, so... Flying from the U.S. to Taiwan, how many hours was that? Fifteen hours. Fifteen. Jeez. Uh, you flew coach, obviously, right? Yes. Okay. How did you handle that? Like being on a plane for fifteen hours? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I think when you're coming over here, you kind of like you got the adrenaline, you got the excitement of knowing you're coming over here. So that, that kind of helps you get through the flight. And the flight, the flight was really smooth. Like I didn't, and the. I took uh, Ava Airlines, AVA or EVA, and it's a great airline. They really take care of you on that plane. Like they, they feed you. The alcohol's free. You can drink as much as you want. Uh, I had a great time on the flight. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit uncomfortable, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wow, 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 wow. That's When you got on the flight, did you see any other guys that you that looked like passport bros or what? I saw guys that already had wives that that like they were already they had their Filipino wife with them. And I guess they were just coming back to the Philippines with their wives. Okay. Were those guys were they was it like a mixture of black guys and white guys or more black guys and white guys? What, what did that look like? Uh, it was mostly like some just older white guys. OK. And uh, I mean, what what do you see a lot of do you see a lot of uh, you know, guys from the U.S. and Western countries in the Philippines with their Filipinas? Oh, yeah, there's like, um, yeah, there's all, everyone, everyone from all around the world is is here. So it's not just the states. It's, 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 the men are from all over. Wow. Okay. And yeah, they're I, walking down the streets with their Filipinas. It's like, they're just like old fat guys. And they have like these really amazingly attractive Filipinas with them. Jeez. <laughs> young, very young. Like 20s. My girlfriend's 26, so I'm 41. Damn, bro. That's 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 in, that's incredible. Mm. Uh, it, uh, 
I mean, just to let you know, my mind, I mean, I've, I've traveled, I've been overseas, but I have not been to the Philippines yet. You should so, come. You should really come. I'm, I'm in a, I'm between a rock and a hard place. Basically, I, I want 